If you want to be able to buy the most expensive players and open the best packs in FC24, go to u7buy.com to buy your EA FC24 coins. It's cheaper than buying FC points and just as reliable. With their already amazing prices, you can get an extra 6% using promo code INCEPTION at checkout. Hey guys, what's going on? Inception here and welcome to another video. Ladies and gentlemen, today we have the Vincent Company to check out. Uh, with this card, we're taking a look at someone who, on a Shadow Chemist Giselle, is a lengthy player, right? 90 acceleration, 95 for sprint speed, 3 star, 3 star capabilities, 6 foot 3, medium high work rates, with a tall and normal body type. Play styles, he has power shot, power header, block, slide tackle, bruiser, first touch, and aerial. So it's funny because he actually has a few play styles um, that, you know, it, let's let's be honest, is mainly for like defensive capabilities. Like the power shot is cool for people that want to pop in a long shot is because he scored that one goal for Man City, right? So you can totally do that, right? But the main things that we have to test out with this card is obviously going to be the defensive capabilities of it, right? Because the key thing here is what the card will be like with the improvements, right? So if he gets the improvements, you know, depending on how the card gets improved, I mean, you could technically go in the direction of giving him an anchor chemistry style, you can even maybe give him an engine, depending on how the improvements end up being on the card in the future, right? But as of right now, we are going to give him a shadow because we just need to see what he's like when it comes to pace and defending, right? Those are going to be the most important things uh, to take a look at when it comes to Vincent's company's card, right? So, um, yeah, passing's in a decent area. Dribbling, the main things that's important for me is going to be in reactions and composure, which is set up in a very decent area. Defensive stats is basically perfect or close to perfect. Obviously, with the improvements in the future, if he does get them, um, then obviously that'll be really nice. And then for physical, he's in a very good spot, except for the jumping at an 82, right? So uh, Vincent Company, definitely looking pretty solid. Uh, we'll be using him in the defensive positions. We'll see how he defends. Hopefully he's a beast. Little company, that's what I want. Good animation. It was a bad pass by me initially, but worked out afterwards. Now with Bellingham. And a move of real promise from the Saints. Excellent. Good block, just pass it back to the goalie, good stuff. And no wonder he's enjoying himself. Nice, he actually magnetizes to that too. Through pass, beauty. Score. I did it early and I still scored. <laughs> Let's see about the delivery. Ooh, the pressure. The pressure. Kenny Dalglish. Oh, just give me the ball, EA. Oh, gets it there at least, at some point. Nice, he actually does the interception there. Oh, keep it in. There we go, we're chilling, we're chilling. Well positioned. Really fine piece of defending play to break it up. George Best. There we go. Ferenc Pushkash. Might work out. Tremendously. Lovely challenge, lovely stuff. 
leg ground switch, even though it doesn't make a lot of sense to do it. Because he's kind of at the point. Ooh, company AI-wise. The allow pass. I like it, company. I like it. No registration there, but I like it. Oh, it's off by me, too. Done company. Nice little distribution there. It's funny because I try to use like the uh, the bru not the bruiser but the advanced defending to block the area and they still get that through ball. Oh, company. Well positioned there. Good switch. Second man press playstyle is, is just a, such a good playstyle to work with. I like it a lot because it's it's pretty key for the defending in general, I would say. Nicely done company, good block. We're good, we're good. That was actually a really sick pass. Fair play to him. I don't see that too often. Honestly, I don't really concede good goals that often. That would have been a good one if I actually did concede that one. Nice job, company. Unfortunate there because he actually blocked the uh, the running angle. Nice company. Yeah, company has like the two play styles that are just too sick to work with. Like intercept plus at center back is amazing. I try to get to that. I like it. I just have to block the area. See, that's what it is. It's the manual defending, right? And you have the intercept plus. That's really nice. Nice pass, Beckham. Oh. Does that count as an interception? No, it doesn't. Oh, that is a really bad play by me. Oh, I thought that was going to be a penalty for me directly tackling. That would have been mad annoying. Is it mine too? Let's go. Good stuff. Leg round switch. Go, company. Oh. It goes through him like when I, oh, dude, I don't know this game sometimes. Like he passes it through the guy and it just nothing, eh? 
just 10 minutes to go. Don't you dare. Okay, I was about to say. Don't you dare. Oh, thank goodness. I would have been in trouble. They opt to go short with the corner. This game is so dumb sometimes. That makes no sense. I like it. Let's go for an animation, though. Take it in. Yes. Good stuff. Good stuff. We're good. See, manual defending actually rewarded because he has the play style. Okay, guys. So final verdict on the Vincent Company card. So yeah, the potential with this card being like an absolute full meta card is like through the roof, right? Because first of all, you guys know that these two play styles, like I'm a huge fan of these two play styles, right? Anticipate plus and intercept plus. Anticipate plus because this game's manual challenges are very, very bad. Um, and it does help to have that to be as high as possible for you to be compensated essentially, right? Remember, these are cards that can get upgraded. And sometimes when EA upgrades these cards, they put special sauce on them, right? So the fact that he defends as well as he does as of right now is kind of crazy because if he gets the improvements, then he's definitely gonna look really, really saucy. Because I'll tell you guys this right now, right? I recently used uh, this Rio Ferdinand card, right? The team of the year icon one. I think that he is an absolute meta, like he's an absolute top tier meta center back, right? I was using him recently and I was like, yeah, like when I'm using center backs, like I can tell that this guy is built different, right? So it, this is, in my opinion, one of the best center backs in the game, right? I think he's just well formatted in multiple areas of the car. You know, he's got 96 acceleration, 94 sprint speed, defensive stats maxed out, and then physical stats almost basically maxed out as well. Like this card is incredible i'd be surprised if pro players didn't like him basically right with company because he can still get those upgrades in the future it adds to the card right because if you can get increased pace increased defense increased physical reactions and composure higher passing higher as well with the play styles that the card has it's really good because guys in this game play styles is everything right so when you jump if you don't have like crazy jumping, like his jumping's at 82, if he didn't have aerial, it would be really annoying, right? But because he has regular aerial, it's still perfectly fine to work with. With a with at least a double upgrade, it'll be even better, right? Block was noticeable. Bruiser was noticeable. Uh, intercept plus was very noticeable. Anticipate. You have to understand that intercept, intercept plus, again, I tell you guys this all the time, it's not just the animation of sticking out your foot, it's the way your position, your player positions himself on the pitch to receive possession of the ball, okay? It's very important, right, to give these guys as high interceptions as possible when you have these play styles because they just position themselves better on the pitch. If he doesn't make certain manual challenges from time to time, that's just the game being weird. We have to, we have to be completely honest, right? But um, do I think... He's at Rio Ferdinand level just yet. No, I think Rio Ferdinand is like really, really insane, to be honest with you. Like when I used that card, I was like, oh my goodness. I used him like the same day I think I used company. Uh, or it was, no, it was today, I think, actually. Um, or yesterday. I forget, it's too many player reviews. And, um, you know, with this card on the Shadow Chemistry style, like I said, he has the potential to be like on that same level because these are fantasy cards, right? If they get the upgrades, like... EA can do this, the little sprinkle, sprinkle, and these guys will be crazy. But as of right now, if you do end up packing this card, very good center back to use. W play styles. He's, uh, he's an incredible center back. He, he's going to do what, uh, what needs to be done for the most part, right? The, the body type works really well for him because it's a bigger dude, basically, right? That tall and normal body type while being six foot three, incredibly helpful to work with. But we'll see. We'll see if they really maximize him out, you know? But uh, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy this video today. I'll catch you guys for the next one. Peace out, dudes. Love you guys.